as you can see, we're arriving at the Animal Kingdom for our first time this holiday. Well, we're not off to a good start today at the Animal Kingdom because Kevin's changed Jealousy's wallet at home and left the tickets at home. So we're just going to buy a day's ticket because otherwise we won't get done what we want to get done. So, it's a bit expensive day. Redo your fingers again. Get a pass now. Get, some, get a mat. Okay, so we got in and we're able to use, well, they're able to issue new tickets for us. And Chrissy's not happy because she no longer has Mickey on her ticket. And there's a tree of life ahead. <sighs> you don't want to miss this one. So there's Expedition Everest. <laughs> That's it, go on. I can't help being excited. Might be a wobbly video because I'm walking relatively far off that like video. But this park is so gorgeous. <laughs> it's already getting warmer, isn't it, Christy? Yeah. We're a bit cold, we're all dressed for a hot day because it's going to be 26, yeah, 25 degrees. Christy's is very summery clothes, but it's getting warmer already. Plus the exercise of fast walking is warming us up. So we're walking through the line now for the Expedition Everest. Yeah. This is exciting, a better move, that's good. <laughs> I can't say grumpy for long. Well, that's good, you shouldn't be grumpy when you're somewhere like this. What's that? The footprint of the Yeti. Uh. Oh, wait, have my planning. I'm videoing. We're on the Expedition Everest drive. Over rapid, the wait time of five minutes. Go around Look here. at the monkeys. Go around this way. They're monkeys. Oh, well, we just did the ride, as you can see. The old cats. See, wet. Things. Just a little bit. And the girls have decided they're going again. Where are they? Which one? And that one? I can't see them. Well, there the girls go. Isn't it ponchos? You can just go again and again and again. Yeah, I saw some people in ponchos. It's a very warm day though. Christy! Girls! Okay, this is the end of the second ride. Lib and I didn't go on. The kids decided to go on again. We're doing the Maharaja jungle trip. <laughs> Look, Chris, it's cleaning itself. You see it licking, Chris? It's licking its wing. Okay. The other bird is singing. It's lovely. So, this is a bird area. I'm just walking through now. That's really good. This is a Maharaja jungle trip. And they're very wet fishy. My pants are getting wet there at the bottom. And the birdies sound happy. I wonder if you can spot them up in the trees. I'm just in this great aviary. Oh, I need to be birdies up there now. Lots of little nests. Lots of birds. And fish. It's all very lovely, but sometimes you get to sit and you can just watch for ages and birds flying around and building nests. Because you've got a, a guide thing so you can identify the birds. We've picked out a few, haven't we? Huh. Forest 
crane snap. They're beautiful, that isn't it? Are they made it or? Um, the saurus? Yeah. They're peacocks, right? They come in as they are. They're two of them, but sometimes they're yellow. Are they peacocks? Yeah, I think you call them a sort of something like that. Oh, I don't know. Look at the little dick. Yeah, yeah, that's what you said. Look at Bessa. Bessa. Look at this. Look at this little thing. Look at this little thing. Uh oh, it's coming down. There's still children. That's one of our younger males. I assume it's one of the younger males. He's so cute. Look at how slender his little legs are. He's coming down to say hello, Bessa. Do you want to say hello? It's a big jump. Okay, we're now in Africa. We're going to go and get our fast since this is the busy well, the park's got a lot busier. Okay. Since we arrived, it's now 11 o'clock I guess. We're going to get our fast pass for safari and then go and do another trek. Oh, down the Panangi Forest Exploration Trail. It's all through here. I don't even matter, it's the same, the same it's trail. Up. Yeah, but I think it's just going to be going in this way and coming out the other way. So we're taking video now. Um, there's a bird. And there's some fish. Oh, look at this one right here. Yeah. So here's a fast zoom. Inside one of the little Avery areas. Look at the fish cleaning. Rest of the family's final here. I know it's a bit shaky, but I'm on a suspension bridge. Oh, here comes the other one. Now you There's three of them visible here. I don't know where the other one disappeared. So that yeah, one That's where troop on this side, there's four on this side, we have a family troop, there's five over there, a male, three females, and this side is five. Underwater there. Now those hippos are among the largest animals here in Africa. A newborn calf can weigh up to 85 pounds. Once it's an adult, if it's a male, it can tip the scales up to 5,000 pounds. Those hippos will actually come out of the water. And... Giraffes are, of course, the tallest land mammals. They grow to be about 18 to 20 feet tall. Now, these giraffes only need about 30 minutes of sleep each day, which they'll usually take in five-minute increments. Giraffes will also sleep standing up to avoid their predators a lot quicker. Looks like there's another giraffe on this hill up ahead here to the right-hand side. Now, this is a different species of giraffe, and I can tell by looking at its spot. This is the reticulated giraffe on this hill here to the right. Now, the reticulated giraffes get their name from the Latin word reticulated which means net, and it refers to the net shape patterns on their coats. Each giraffe has unique spots on their coats, just like you and I have unique fingerprints. These giraffes also have very keen eyesight, and combined with their height, that gives them a very... The males and females have those white ivory tusks. Now, because of their size, African elephants... 1,000 pounds. The baby's all the way in the back behind that termite mound there. Although great effort has gone into protecting the white rhinos, these animals are still being hunted to this day. Even on Africa's biggest are sprinters and can only maintain their top speed over several hundred yards. Now with those quick bursts of speeds and excellent eyesight, that makes the cheetah an efficient hunter. Unlike most large cats, cheetahs... <laughs> so in the restrooms are all decorated here, pretty fancy. Except that water's spurt out the wall randomly. <laughs>
I still, you know, when you go away from the Nogal, I got that on our very first trip. And it's held up very well, hasn't it? And I've still got it. I did see a nice open somewhere that I liked. Oh, the Christmas one. Mommy, where's that shit? We're just heading back to the park entrance now. We're and not leaving though. We're not leaving though. We're lunch, lunch at the Rainforest Cafe. Rainforest Cafe. Rainforest Cafe. Rainforest Cafe. Oh, great. That's scary. This way you push it down there. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> there you go. Did you get wet? Oh no. What's Amy got now? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, inside the Rainforest Cafe. And Chris has got a little kids menu there. Amy's got her leopard print ears. <laughs> Gosh, it goes right over there as well. Gotta take a bit of the other more night before we take this over before it gets too dark. Some Christmas music playing. Shame about cigarette smell. Also, <laughs> a kind of Christy thing, doesn't it? I like smashing things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're a Christy thing, aren't they? Forever 21, first time we've ever been in here. Oh, Amy, hey, look. And Fossil, which is choosing a wallet. My old wallet broke my own secret shop. Well, in Bath and Body Works, it's very exciting. Lots of lovely stuff. I'm not to buy everything, we've got to get all home. Mm -hmm. 